Hello and welcome to Scripture Verse by Verse. My name is Michael Moret. Today we begin a brand new book of the Bible. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 1. And Father, we ask that you would add your blessing to every verse of this word, or of this book, and especially the verses that we will be reading today. In Jesus' name, Amen. The book of Acts was written by Luke, the same man who wrote the Gospel of Luke. And uh, we begin in verse 1. Luke writes, In the first book, O Theophilus, and Theophilus is who this book was originally written to, both Luke and Acts. And he says, In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach. The Gospels only recorded the things that Jesus began to do. In the book of Acts, we will see Jesus continue his work through the Holy Spirit and through his church. And it says in verse 2, Until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment, through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. Jesus gave instructions to the, to the apostles during the 40 days um, between his resurrection and his ascension into heaven. He gave instructions to the apostles. And the New Testament contains those instructions. Jesus by his Holy Spirit and through the Apostles wants to instruct us today also and he still does it happens when we study the New Testament the words that Christ inspired his men to write verse 3 to them to his Apostles he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs appearing to them during 40 days and speaking of the kingdom of God 11 appearances of Jesus Christ after he was raised have been recorded in scripture there may have been many more than that but those are the 11 that are recorded Jesus during the 40 day before his ascension spoke to his apostles about the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God that Jesus spoke to them about during those 40 days was the church age which is called the mystery kingdom his instructions included the purpose for the church age he had to instruct them because they never saw it coming they didn't know what it was about he had to instruct them on the purpose of the church age which was to preach salvation through Jesus Christ verse 4 while staying with them he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the Father which he said you heard from me and Jesus didn't want his apostles to try to teach about the church minister the word of God until after they were indwelt by the Holy Spirit because if they try to do something on their own they're going to probably mess it up for sure so he says just stay put wait for the Holy Spirit to come then you can go verse 5 for John baptized with water but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit the baptism of the Holy Spirit cannot be felt like the baptism of water because the baptism of the Holy Spirit occurs in the spiritual realm when a person repents of their sin makes Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior the Holy Spirit baptizes them or another word baptism is to place into the Holy Spirit baptizes or places that repenting sinner into the body of Christ 
the body of Christ is another name for the universal church which is made up of real Christians all over the world so when you repent and you ask Christ to save you and take over your life the Holy Spirit in a spiritual sense baptizes you or places you into the body of Christ verse 6 so when they had come together they asked him Lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel now the kingdom of Jesus Christ is here right now in the souls of his people Jesus said it the kingdom of God is in your midst it is within you but one day Jesus will be here on earth and his rule will extend over all people and the apostles wanted to know if that universal kingdom was going to happen right away seven he said to them it is not for you to know times or seasons which the father has fixed by his own authority God does not like us to ask when God's business is to determine when something will happen our business is to focus on living for him and then trust that he will do the right thing at the right time 8 but you shall receive power when the Spirit has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria to the ends of the earth in other words Jesus is saying don't try to figure out when I will return that takes too much energy energy that should be used to live holy lives and help spread the kingdom of God before he does return that's where the focus should be lead the when up to God 9 and when he had said this as they were looking on he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight and that cloud is symbolic of the presence of God throughout the Bible you see it in the Old Testament that is not an average everyday vapor cloud it is the Shekinah glory cloud a visible representation of God himself it is that cloud it is the same cloud that led the Israelites through the wilderness to the promised land it is the same cloud that entered into the holy tabernacle when it was completed it is the presence of God that is the thing that Jesus disappeared into when he ascended into heaven I don't believe that Jesus had to travel you know past Saturn and Neptune and Pluto to get to heaven wherever it is when he hit that cloud he reached heaven he disappeared because he was there wherever there is 10 it says and while they were gazing into heaven as he went behold two men stood by them in white robes two men they looked like men but they were angels two angels in white appear out of nowhere and they are not named the angels are seldom named in scriptures scripture because their identity really isn't evident they are servants of God and their servants to God their service to God is important but like us that's all they are servants Jesus is the only important one and these angels speak of Jesus not of themselves so they don't identify themselves but notice verse 11 they said men of Galilee why do you stand looking into heaven this Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven and so Jesus is returning the same way he left how did he leave well he left visibly and he left physically so he will return visibly and physically the Lord disappeared into the clouds when he left and the Bible is clear he will return in the clouds when he comes back 12 then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet which is near Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey away the Jewish religious laws affected people in ways that really is hard for us to imagine 
For example, the thing mentioned here, a Sabbath day's journey. That was less than a mile. And if you walked further than a Sabbath day's journey on the Sabbath day, you sinned. According to the religious leaders, you did. Verse 13. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew and Philip and Thomas and Bartholomew and Matthew and James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot and Judas of James. This upper room likely was the place where the apostles had eaten the Last Supper with Jesus 